In this video we are going to factor this trinomial and we're going to use the box method to do it. The first thing that we have to do is multiply our ax squared term by our c term. So I'm going to take 4x squared, multiply that by a negative 6. That gives us negative 24x squared. Now we have to think of all the factors of negative 24x squared. So 1x times 24x would be 24x squared. However, because we have a negative 24x squared here, we have to make sure that one of the numbers in our pairs is negative. Now before I make one side of these negative, I'm going to figure out what would be the better side to do. So these pairs have to add up to be a negative 5. Whichever pair adds up to be a negative 5, that's the pair that we want to go with. So because it's a negative number here, we want to make the bigger of the two numbers negative so that when we combine these two terms it'll end up being a negative number so 1x plus negative 24x is going to be a negative 23x and then we take 2x add a negative 12x that's going to be a negative 10x and then 3x plus a negative 8x is negative 5x and that's the number that we want because our middle term right here our linear term is a negative 5 and that's what we want. If it, if it helps to put some addition signs here so that you could see what we're actually doing by all means go for it. So now we have our two pairs I'm sorry our two numbers or our pair and we're gonna plug these into our squares here so these will go um, in any of the corner boxes so it could be the top right corner box and then it, the other one has to go down here on the bottom left corner box. The numbers that go in the top left and the bottom right are going to be the ax squared term. So 4x squared goes here. Every time this box right here gets this leading number right here, this term. And then the bottom right box goes our negative 6. It's always our constant. That always goes in the bottom right hand, um, bottom right box. Uh, right here this box and this box always gets these two terms um, and it doesn't matter which we're, um, which box you fill it in. If you want to put the minus 8x up here and the 3x down here that's okay too. The next step is trying to figure out what the greatest common factor is in the rows and the columns. So the greatest common factor moving out to the left here between these two terms is going to be an x. The greatest common factor between a negative 8 uh, x and a minus 6 is going to be 2. Now because the um, box on the outside closest to this number is a negative, I'm going to make this negative 2. Since this was positive, we keep this term positive. Now I'm going to find the greatest common factor going upwards. So 4 is going to be up here and then they both have an x so that goes there. And then the greatest common factor going up in this column is going to be a 3. And there you have our factors. We have a x minus 2. That's one binomial factor. And then we have a 4x plus 3. That's the other binomial factor. Now you don't have to do this next step, but if you'd like to check it, you can. Let's say I erase everything in the boxes. I only left the factors on the outer edges. Well, I could do the uh, do some distribution using the box method. I'm going to take 4x times x. That would give me 4x squared. Then I'm going to do 3 times x. That gives me 3x. I'm going to do 4x times a negative 2. That gives me negative 8x. And then lastly, 3 times a negative 2 is a negative 6. And I can combine all my like terms and write it as a trinomial. I have 4x squared these are like terms. When we combine those, I have a minus 4x. Scratch that, I mean minus 5x. And ending with my minus 6. So that's the trinomial that I'm left with. And this is the trinomial that I started with. 